it's like the guy that we're talking about, the guy that, that, that just attacked the Marine Reservist, which, first of all, talk about biting the hand that feeds you. What more disrespectful thing to do than to attack the very people that protect the freedom for you to be an idiot in the first place? And, you know, it, it just it makes no sense. But he goes on in, in the articles or in the statements you'll read from the police, he goes on to call them Nazis and white supremacists which is ironic because in 2007, this guy was actually arrested at a KKK rally. <laughs> and so it doesn't, make, it, it doesn't make any sense. It is the craziest just paradox of idiocracy that you can possibly imagine. Right, and the tactic that you mentioned, the left making accusations of the right for things the left is actually doing, that is a Saul Alinsky tactic. In Rules for Radicals, Saul Alinsky says, you should accuse your opponents of doing what you're doing because then when they say, nah, -uh, you're doing it, they look stupid and no one believes it. The left follows that book, I tell you. They follow it to a T in all of their tactics. Something I do want to talk about, though, when you mentioned that this guy, this Antifa member, called these Republicans or these Marine reservists, called them Nazis and white supremacists, I don't like to blame uh, the left. I don't like to blame pol politicians' rhetoric for the violence of other people. The people waging the violence are the ones responsible. But when you put this idea into our society that President Trump is a terrorist for using tear gas at our border when migrants storm our border wall, when you say, when Hillary Clinton says, you can't be civil to people like Republicans, when a leftist think tank like Think Progress, uh, when one of their chief writers or chief strategists says Republicans are bad and must be eliminated, or say, you know, that President Trump is a racist and wants to exterminate different demographics of people because of their race, which is what a New York Times writer says, it puts this fear in people that they feel that they don't have any choice but to act and stop that. And if the only way to stop that is violence, they feel justified. Well, I, I think, uh, yes, I agree with you. It puts fear in certain people. It doesn't put fear in Republicans or conservatives. It puts fear in young and impressionable minds that lean more towards the Democratic and liberal side of viewpoints. And, and that's what they are pushing to. They are pushing to the type of people that are easily influenced and are easily swayed into simply believing whatever they see on camera uh, or, or on an article that they right. read on the internet. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.